Good morning guys. So today we're going to be scraping the barn. Um, rained a lot. I don't, I don't know really how much we got yesterday. I didn't look at the rain gauge, but rained pretty much all afternoon. And cows got to stay inside in December, but the weather sure doesn't feel like it really. So we've been letting the cows outside a lot and they've been enjoying that. So have we, because it's not been cold or snowy yet. But got rain and it's there's gonna be a lot of poop in here today, so we'll get some scraping video. I think I'll have to do the calf barn and feed the heifers. Uncle's gotta get going to hockey, so. Uh, cows are coming in now, I'm bringing them in. Say hi, Red Ruby. Hi, Red Ruby. <laughs> so, I'm bringing in the cows now for the milkers, and uh, yeah, we'll get started. Alright guys, about time to switch cows, so got this whole side cleaned, the feed side, and now I gotta do the stall side only. My uncle and I have been in here working on these stalls along the wall. Just have to do the middle one. Excuse me, Ember. Or not. Or not. Yep, these are the ones along the wall. Got them all standing up. Cows looking nice, laying in there. Put these boards up here. Kind of like the brisket boards. Put one going this way, the one going down, then they alternate. Keeps the cows back farther and less crap in the stalls. So that's good. Here's a better look at the stall work without the cows in here. I mean, I think we did a pretty good job. It's not perfect, but they're all up and standing again and it looks really nice. And it's there's a lot more cows laying down. It's just overall happy with our work. All right, spreader's full, so we're gonna take this load out. Let there be light. And for the one that's the craziest of all, voila. All right, so if you guys are new here or you just haven't ever watched a scraping video, yeah, we got to haul every day. We don't have any storage. So every day we're hauling, no matter the weather, we're hauling some crap. <laughs> so it's gonna be muddy out there. We got these couple hay fields here right behind the barn. We've hauled on them a couple times and yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna test it out today too. So. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can make it through. I'm sure we can. We got the 140 on here. We'll be fine. All right. Let her warm up a little bit, and then we're going to head up. Yeah, she's muddy, I'll tell you. Spreader's kind of sliding around a little, but we're getting it. Hard to see, but...
right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go down, do the calf barn, and then uh, feed the heifers. Still about two sets, maybe. It'll probably be a full 24 and then a couple cows left in the holding area, and that's all I have left to clean. So instead of sitting around waiting for them to get done with them, I'm gonna go down there and get that done, then I'll just come back up here and finish. calf in here too just checked in here see if there's any babies little heifer calf it's mom also a heifer first calf for her good start heifer calf well I'm like way up here on some gates but I was looking and there's two cows down here in the dry cow pasture and it's like I don't know why they're down there in the corner kind of I'm pretty sure there's a calf down there. good thing about when it rains is you can get this really clean but I have the spreader very very full I'm definitely gonna be spilling but I wasn't coming back for a little bit Taken out. Now we're gonna go down. I plugged the electric. 
electric fence. I'm going to have to drive around into the field. Hopefully I can make it muddy and throw the cap over into the bucket and then put it in the hut and then I'll have to get the one out of the cabin shed yet. But I wanted to see if the one in the pasture is a boy or a girl first because then I'll have to know if I get a, have to get a hut ready. There's already one ready for a girl. So I have to get another one ready. All right, I think it's another heifer calf. Um, she looks like that one, but we just dried her up. And I can see some cleaning stuff on that one, kinda. So, I know that's a mom, she's a lot skinnier too. But that 784, she's always protective of calves, like she's a good mom, so. Yeah, take this calf to a hut. Get them a blanket, then we'll go get the other calf out of the calving shed where they're supposed to have calves. All right, got both those calves moved. Two heifer calves. I'll get them blankets once I take the moms up. Grab them when I'm up there with the truck. All right, guys, we just got them loaded up. My helpers. Eden, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> you kind of point. <laughs> All right, we got those cows loaded. We're gonna go drop off at the barn, and that should be the end of the video, guys. We'll get that those cows with jackets and get them all nice and warm. What we eat? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Not today. Bye guys. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, get up there. Come on. There you go. Say hi. Oh, look at that <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> All right, got those guys their jackets. Should be good to go. All right, got everything wrote down up at the barn there. The fresh ones, what they had. Got the pills set out for the milkers tonight. Park this skid loader back in the shed and uh, head on home.